on YouTube. Coming out here to this uh, wood yard in Denmark, pick up this track up. Not quite done with a pile, but we got so much other stuff going on. Well, we got so much other stuff getting ready to go on. We really ain't got time to get these last three loads from down here. So, I believe he contracted them out to somebody else. And he gonna let them come get them. Like I said, it ain't for three loads, so. The time we spending and the resources of having, man, having men down here to load and us coming down here to get these loads, it's just better off to just put somebody else on let somebody else come get them. So they actually have a loader out here already. I don't know if they load their trucks with the loader, but they got a loader out here. So I'm coming to pick up the Traco and I got to drop it off in Paisley because we got to start grinding and screening in Paisley this week, I believe, by the end of this week. So we're moving everything to Paisley. So this is the first move of about four or five different pieces of equipment. Won't get them all in today, but today I got to get the track on the dozer. So we're getting the track on. They won't do that. 
I cannot afford to buy a dragon. So I'm gonna be easy. Making a turn right now. Really? In this situation, in this situation, you want to put the hook of your binder beside this or beside this. So if I put it here, my binder won't reach that track. If I put it here, my binder will be too close to that track and I won't be able to ratchet it and it won't get a good backwards pull. So in these situations, we have chains coming in. So let me show you how we do it. I went back here because I wanted to take up as much chain as I could to get much slack out of it so I wouldn't have as much chain to wrap around. Yeah, we finally got up out of there, you too. Finally got up out, finally got up out. Now we headed to uh, the big city of Paisley. About to go down here and drop this machine off. Then I have to go to back to the uh, mill and pick up a dozer and relocate the dozer down to Paisley. They're taking everything to Paisley. I don't know what's going on in Paisley, but 
it must be big because every piece of equipment, every resource they coming across that they put their hands on, taking the paper, taking the paper, taking the paper. And when it's time to come from Bailey, guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna be bringing it from Bailey. I'm taking it to Bailey, bringing it to Bailey. So, job security for me. When I know all this equipment going to one place, my eyes light up. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. But if it's going there, it got to come back. And I'm the man for the job. Yes, sir. But man, I wanna address something. I wanna address something. I don't want nobody to take offense to it. Uh, I want to address why I don't wear a seatbelt. And the reason I don't wear a seatbelt, it isn't the reason. Because I do wear my seatbelt. Whenever I'm in my personal vehicle, I put my seatbelt on. Whenever I'm in this truck and I get on the big road, I put my seatbelt on. When I'm in the truck and I'm on back roads, I put my seatbelt on. But when I'm recording, I take it off because I'm moving around. Like, it's rare that I'm just recording and I'm sitting here. So it's like when I'm recording, I have to take my seatbelt off because I be sitting up. If I try to sit up with the seatbelt on, the seatbelt gonna snatch me, man. It's aggravating. So I take it off, record my video. Do I always put it back on after I finish my video? No, I don't. But a lot of people keep commenting the same people keep coming on, put the seatbelt on, put the seatbelt on. And I appreciate you looking out for my safety, I really do. Like, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate y'all for looking out for my safety, but I'm just not out here riding outlaw all the time. Like, I do wear my seatbelt, yeah? Like, I do, I really do, I promise you, I do wear my seatbelt. I've been a victim of being in a car accident and getting thrown from the vehicle for not wearing my seatbelt. So I kind of learned my lesson and I do wear my seatbelt. Do I wear it all the time? No, I don't wear it all the time. For one, it's very uncomfortable. I don't know why it's so uncomfortable, but my seatbelt is uncomfortable. It be cutting me in my neck. And the only way that it is comfortable is if I'm just sitting here, sitting back and not moving. And sitting here, sitting back, not moving is uncomfortable for me. I have to move around. I have to switch positions in the seat. Like I'm just, I'm not a person that can just sit in one spot for a very long time. Driving a truck is very, very challenging for me because I have to sit in one spot for a long time. So when I'm doing my low board work and my walking floor work, that consists of me having to get out of the truck and move around. That's why I like this type of work. So I don't put my seatbelt on all the time. 50% of the time do I have my seatbelt on? In my personal vehicle, 100% of the time I have my seatbelt on. In my big truck, 50% of the time, I'll say about, uh, I'll give it about 40% of the time I have my seatbelt on. I don't know, I mean, it's a bad habit. And, and that's another thing, I feel like everyone has bad habits. Everyone does something that's not, <clears throat> that's not safe. If y'all like here practicing unsafe sex, you ain't got the seatbelt on. So y'all hopping in my DMs, I mean hopping in my comments, seatbelt, 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 man, I appreciate it. I hear you. Like I hear you. I really do. But it's just, it's, it's uncomfortable. I mean, if I have a wreck today and I die because I didn't have my seatbelt on, it's my fault. I gotta live with that. Me and God are talk about that when I get there because I'm going up there. I don't think he's going to deny me for not wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> I don't think God's going to deny me for not wearing my seatbelt. But I, I really do appreciate y'all putting that out there. Like, I see the comments. But it just gets kind of annoying when every video you, you blasting it, you blasting it, you blasting it, you blasting it. I'm like, man, come on, bro. I'm a grown man at the end of the day now. I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what I'm supposed to be doing and what I'm not supposed to be doing. So, I just want to let y'all know, I hear y'all about the seatbelt. I appreciate your concerns about the seatbelt. But we're going to be all right. Let me put my seatbelt on. Look at that. Ah, 
die anyway. He ain't even kick. Man, come on, man. Y'all are tripping. This is so aggravating, yo. Maybe I need to relocate it. Maybe I need to pull the screw down or something to get it off of my neck. And it won't be so bad. Let me see if I let the chill back. Seatbelt broke. Man, this seatbelt gonna choke me to death if I wear the seatbelt. If I get in the wreck and I had a seatbelt on, I'm gonna go through the windshield. Then I'm gonna choke myself to death. Cause it be all around my neck. I ain't gonna be able to get out of the vehicle. I can't move, I can't brace myself for the impact. Man, that seatbelt gonna kill me. Man, y'all trying to kill me talking about putting that seatbelt on. Y'all trick. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. But nah, real talk. <laughs> and my personal vehicle, I always wear my seatbelt. And this truck, I don't wear it as often as I should because it is very uncomfortable. It cuts my neck up, so I, I don't put it on. My girl always wears her seatbelt. Always. But yeah, that's just something I wanted to address. No big deal. I ain't mad at nobody. Hope y'all not mad at me. And the reason I wanted to address it is because I felt like it's going to make a great thumbnail. It's going to make a great thumbnail. Why I don't wear my seatbelt. Great thumbnail. So I figured I had to address it if I'm going to put it in the thumbnail.
All right, man, we locked and loaded. Those are on. It's time to roll up. Something else. We out here stopping traffic. You are something else. Well, YouTube, look who joined me. You're recording? Yes. Hey, y'all. <laughs> okay, so. I'll get your mic. I'm going on some time in that damn green truck. I'm going to run the hell out of there. What is that? Ah, uh, you know, I got to keep it rolling. What do you say? I don't know that thing. You need a drink of water, probably with that thing. <laughs> what do you say? You say it got smoke coming off the top. You need to run before you see much road. You know he ain't going to do that. Yeah, a little bit of bump and grind on what he used to. <laughs> so that green truck got smoke coming off the top. It, it look like it need a drink of water. Looks like a blue mat he is behind it. Too bad I had to go around him. Well, um, did you just snatch that from me? Okay, so I, uh, did, I did not see the phone call from you. Which one? I don't know. None of them? I, I guess both of these. All four? Oh, no. I, I answered two of them. So, um, what you about to tell you to say, like, hey, you to. Hold on. I know you about to call no man. No, I'm not. Oh my God. What? Why you just don't put the top back on your stuff? On what? Your fit, your, your tuna fritters. I don't know what top they have tonight. I'm starting to eat four packs of tuna fritters. That's gonna be my diet. Four packs of tuna fritters, four rice cakes, hundred grams of peanuts. Well, wait, wait. So four, four things of rice cakes, or how you have it now? I have it now. Oh, okay. Everything like it is now. Just, Just four more. packs of tuna fritters and less peanuts. You too. She couldn't stand being away from me, boy. I was on the phone talking to her, telling her what I was doing, hauling all this big, heavy equipment. And she just started getting sad. I'm like, man, what's wrong? She said, I miss you. No, that is not true. Really, what happened was, I was on my way to the gym. I was headed to go work out and I was having a bad morning and we were on the phone talking and he told me he was right down the street and so I was had to drive by where he was to get to where I was going. Lies. Oh no no. Don't call me on my line, I'm call you on your line. Well before and I wouldn't even lie. Before I went to the gym, I was gonna stop at the store. I was gonna stop at the, the nutrition store. The nutrition store is an hour away. First of all, Anyway, this yeah. is a, this this not even important. All I know is he told me he was down the street, so I said, sure, sure. I need to go down the street so I can see him, so I can get a nice little hug to help center me because I was having a morning. I, I just wanted a hug. That was it. But I gave you so much more. But then he bamboozled me. Whoa, whoa. He not the way this is gonna go. He bamboozled me. He said, "Oh, you have your engagement ring on today." Oh, you can ride with me in the truck. Oh, so I said, I can. And he said, of course you can. And then, so I said, you know what? Bow, bow, bow. I'm going to ride with you. No, no, no. No, no. He also said he was going to go to the gym with me later on tonight. So then I was like, oh, bow, bow, bow. I'll ride with you. Show him your ring. That's been missing in the last video. Yeah, Glow. Get up and two minutes and on his shell, Toe. Yeah, Glow. Man, I'm been in since it's done it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know those words, y'all. Like, y'all, how could she, how could she not, how could she leave home without this? 
Y'all tell me what would y'all do if y'all girl left home when I did. Give me some ideas. She needs to be on punch. What's your punch? I love my ring. Like, I really feel like I have the best ring ever. Like, it's just so beautiful. Ah. What's going on, big you? Oh, just riding around like pretty. They don't do good at it, though. <laughs> well, you got that thing shined up looking good. Oh, it's been pretty dirty. I grabbed a name on it. It didn't look good, right? <laughs> yeah, mine a little dusty itself. Can't have it with all this dust around. I'll stay in the dirt. Yeah, no doubt. Well, Alan, Alan. Be careful, man. I didn't see nothing back in the lingus. Hey, you got fat air coming up behind you. Damn, so your mom called you? What did she call you and say? <coughs> Are you on the phone with Shelby? <laughs> I say, no, why? She said, on the phone, she's going just to the voicemail. I don't know if y'all was on the phone or... Oh, she got it on Do Not Stir. I said, well, she is in a little mood, so she might have it on Do Not Stir. Then I called. Went straight to the voice Call it again. Straight to the voice Call it again. Silence. <laughs> it rained. No straight to the voice Just silence.
Because, no, 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 no. I don't feel comfortable with you sitting. Friends, I almost forgot y'all. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Bye. 